cigarette smoking is a major contributor to lung damage and respiratory diseases. It affects the lungs in various ways, leading to both immediate and long-term detrimental effects. Here's a detailed explanation of how cigarette smoking damages the lungs. Inhalation of harmful chemicals, when a person inhales cigarette smoke, they are exposed to a complex mixture of over 7,000 chemicals, many of which are harmful. These chemicals include tar, nicotine, carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, ammonia, and various carcinogens, cancer-causing agents. Irritation and inflammation, the chemicals in cigarette smoke irritate the respiratory tract, leading to inflammation. This inflammation narrows the airways and makes it harder to breathe, contributing to conditions like chronic bronchitis and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. Mucus production, cigarette smoke triggers an increase in mucus production in the airways. This excess mucus can clog the air passages and further obstruct airflow, making it difficult to clear the lungs of irritants and increasing the risk of respiratory infections. Impaired cilia function, the respiratory tract is lined with tiny hair-like structures called cilia. Cilia help move mucus and trapped particles out of the airways. Smoking damages and impairs the function of these cilia, making it harder for the lungs to clear mucus and debris, which can lead to infections and other complications. Loss of elasticity, smoking causes the walls of the air sacs in the lungs, alveoli, to lose their elasticity. This elasticity is crucial for the lungs to expand and contract properly during breathing. Loss of elasticity reduces lung capacity and makes it harder for the lungs to efficiently exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. Destruction of alveoli One of the most severe effects of smoking is the development of emphysema, a type of COPD. Emphysema involves the gradual destruction of the walls of the alveoli. As these walls break down, the surface area available for gas exchange decreases, leading to impaired oxygen uptake and increased carbon dioxide retention. Reduced lung function, over time, the combination of inflammation, mucus buildup, and structural changes results in decreased lung function. This leads to shortness of breath, persistent coughing, wheezing, and other respiratory symptoms. Increased risk of infections, the damaged airways and impaired immune function in the lungs make smokers more susceptible to respiratory infections like pneumonia and bronchitis. Cancer risk, smoking is a leading cause of lung cancer. The carcinogens in cigarette smoke can damage the DNA within lung cells, leading to uncontrolled cell growth and the formation of tumors. Progression of disease, the lung damage caused by smoking is cumulative and irreversible. Continued smoking exacerbates the problems and accelerates the progression of lung diseases like COPD and lung cancer. Quitting smoking can significantly reduce the risk of further lung damage and improve lung health over time. However, the longer a person smokes, the harder it becomes for the lungs to fully recover. It's important to seek medical advice and support when attempting to quit smoking, especially if you've been smoking for a long time or are already experiencing respiratory symptoms.